All right, this video will walk you through how you import a list of items and locations into Google My Maps for your globalization of your stuff unit three assessment. So you're gonna start with your list of items that you have hopefully completed where you've got 20 different items. For the purpose of this, I've just got uh, 10 or so different items on here that we're gonna use as an example. Again, it's really important that you make sure that you have your country of origin labeled in there. Um, and it's also important that you've selected what category, clothing, electronics, household, or other, each of your items goes into. Um, and then note the name of your document. This one says globalization and your stuff, list of items, can't an example. Once you have all that entered, you're going to go to a new tab and you're going to go to Google My Maps. And once you get into Google My Maps, you'll follow the link and it should hopefully take you if you're signed into this main screen here and you're going to click create new map. Once you're on this create new map screen, you're going to want to first title your map. Um, and so I'm just going to go Globalization Canton. I'm going to leave the description blank right now, and I will save that. And then we need to go about our business of adding our items. And so over here on the left-hand side on our untitled layer, it says Import. So we're going to go ahead and click Import. And then we're not going to go to Upload. We're going to go to Google Drive. And if you click Recent, you should see uh, your spreadsheet in there and your recent items um, because you were just working on it. And you'll go ahead and select that. If you don't find it, you can search for it um, and find kind of uh, what you're looking for. But you'll click your spreadsheet and click Select. And it will go out and grab your document. And then it asks you what column has the information that tells Google where to put the place parks on the map. And so for that one, we're going to select country. And that way it knows which country to put the place marks in. And then click continue. And then it asks you to choose a title for each of your markers or place marks. And for that, we're just going to select item. So for example, it'll say shoes or t-shirt or cell phone. And then click finish. Now that you have your place marks uh, imported, um, you can see I've got layer one, which has all of my stuff. Um, but you're going to notice that it's not much to look at right now. I've got a couple of things in the US, a couple of things over here. And so what we need to do is we need to do a couple of things. First of all, if you have a lot of items from one region, uh, you need to click on the individual place marks from that region. So here I see pressure cooker. And you actually need to click and drag um, the items to kind of redistribute them uh, throughout the country that they're in because uh, when it imports them, it places them all on top of one another. So you're going to go ahead and you're going to go and click through until you have um, kind of rearranged all of your place marks. Oh, that was the last one. So I had six things made in China. So I'm not going to do that for all of them. Um, then they're all blue right now, which doesn't really tell us anything other than I've got a lot of blue uh, place marks and a lot of stuff made in these countries. And so we want to kind of customize how these place marks look. And so over here right now, it says uniform style, meaning that they're all going to be blue. But we want to actually group them or um, kind of label them based on what category they are, household, electronics, or clothing. And so we click again, I'm just going to show you, we click uniform style with a little paint brush dealy. And then instead of group places by uniform style, we are going to group them by category. And in doing so, you'll see that automatically I've got a bunch of different colors on my map now. And I can see my clothing are blue, household are green, electronics are red, and other are this kind of orangish color, I guess. Um, and we can take this customization one step further. And so if you click the little paint bucket, we can change the color and look of it. And so I click and it's labeled. I could change the color if I wanted to, uh, which could be kind of fun. Or I can change the icon. Right now it's just this generic place marker. But because I know this is clothing for this first one, I'm going to go into more icons. And there's a whole library of different icons that you can change it to. And I'm going to change mine to a hanger. Uh, whoop. There we go. I'm going to change mine to a hanger. So I start typing the word hanger. Um, and it brings up clothing. And I click OK. And now I can see all of my clothing are these blue hangers. Uh, and I can do the same for household. For household items, I click my little paint bucket. I go down to more icons. And for that one, maybe I type in the word home. Doesn't give me anything for home, but how about house? There we go. Have a little house. I click on that. And now my map shows green houses to represent my housing items. For electronics, I again go into more icons. And maybe I type in computer. 
or maybe I type in phone. There we go. Uh, and I have a little mobile phone looking icon and I click OK. And now all of my electronics are represented there. And for other, um, you could you know go with whatever you want. I'm going to go with this little mystery question mark icon because they can't be categorized. Um, and there you go. Um, you're going to want to, again, remember you go ahead and you um, import your document. And once it's in there, you go to styled by and you make sure you style it by category because we want each individual category um, to kind of have its own icon and color. And then from there, you go ahead and click the paint bucket. And you can change the color if you'd like, something um, a little more user-friendly. And then you can also go ahead and change the icons. Um, so that's all you need to do. Good luck.